For this lesson, I'm using the Premiere Pro project file 0902 Clip Playback Speed. You can find this project file with the media associated with this lesson. Double click on it to open it in Premiere Pro. Slow motion is a director's favorite, adding gravitas and a special focus on events as they unfold. You won't always have footage that was shot at a high frame rate to give you smooth slow motion in Premiere Pro. Still, you can also make adjustments to playback speed in a sequence, and the results can be fantastic. And let's see how. I'm going to start out by making a change to this kid's rolling a tire shot. Let's watch a little piece of it as it is. De mis raíces. I'm going to right click on the clip in the sequence and go to the speed duration option. This brings up the clip speed duration dialog. I've got a few interesting options here. I can reverse the speed. I can specify whether I want clips on the timeline to move out of the way if I change the playback duration by changing the speed. And up at the top, I've got the new percentage of speed I want. I can also specify a new duration. The little chain icon on the right links these two together. So if I type in 25, the duration updates automatically. I'll just undo with Control-Z on Windows or Command-Z on Mac OS and break that chain. And now I'll type in 25 and the duration stays the same. The duration we're looking at here is really the duration of the clip in the sequence. I can make the contents of that clip as long and slow as I like. And it's not quite the same thing as changing the piece of that clip that's been incorporated into the current sequence. I'm happy with this amount of the clip, five seconds in one frame, but I want the speed of the contents to play back slower. You'll see what I mean when I click OK and play it back. We're not seeing as much of the content because, of course, we're only getting a quarter of it now. However, the playback is a bit jumpy. Premiere Pro has filled the extra frames needed to play back at the slower speed, and the default setting is not particularly smooth, but it's the lowest effort for your computer to play back. Let's switch this to the highest quality. I'm going to right click again, and I'm going to choose speed duration. And I'm going to use this time interpolation menu to specify optical flow. This effect is extremely high quality, and your computer will need to process it before it will play back. That's why there's a red line along the top of the timeline panel. It indicates that an effect needs to be processed, and processing is called rendering. With the timeline panel active, I'm going to go to the sequence menu, and I'm going to choose render effects into out. You'll notice the keyboard shortcut for this is the enter key. By default, the sequence will play when your system finishes rendering effects. So I've just stopped it there. I'll navigate back over to that clip. And let's take a look. Beautiful. There's a dedicated tool for changing the playback speed of clips too. A little later on the timeline here, I'm going to delete this bridge track clip. I'm just selecting it and pressing the delete key. And now I'm going to select the rate stretch tool, which is available by clicking and holding on the ripple edit tool. With this tool selected, if I trim a clip by clicking on the end of it and dragging, I won't change the piece of the clip that I'm using. Instead, I'll change the playback speed. And in this case, I'm going to change the playback speed by exactly the amount I need to fill the gap. So I'm clicking and dragging and releasing the mouse. Now I'm going to right click on the clip, go to speed duration, set that time interpolation to optical flow and click OK. Once again, I'll go to the sequence menu and render effects into out. Navigate back over to the clip and let's take a look. Who still thrive in cities and colonial towns. Perfect. Now that I've finished using the Rate Stretch tool, I'll go back to the Selection tool, and I'm ready to continue with my edit. That's an overview of playback speed options on the timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro.